Hello again, I'm Jennifer with Watercolor Girlfriend and today we are going to paint, uh, I love to paint everyday objects. So today I've chosen to paint um, some wooden spoons that I have in the kitchen in a blue pot, something simple that you have around the house. You know, I like to inspire you to paint. So inspiring you to do something scary isn't always at the top of my list. I really just want you to find something around the house for this one and paint something that you have nearby. And I also tend to find that something like this, you know, something that I've had in my kitchen for a long time or in my life or maybe in my kitchen growing up, that it, it gives sort of a memorial, you know, to the objects that you have in your life. And it's fun to include them in your watercolor sketchbook. So I uh, today I'm going to be doing it in my sketchbook and this is what we will be using. It's a simple mixed media and sort of a watercolor sketchbook. It is 110 pounds, which is fantastic. So it'll, you know, keep some of its durability and more flat while you douse it with water and colors instead of having to tape it down and you know you could always take it off this one does have some serrated edges so you could take it out nicely you could iron it a bit uh, maybe even uh, spritz the back a little and then put it under uh, some books to help flatten it out if that's something you're interested in doing so I'm going to be using a variety of colors <clears throat> but I'm also going to introduce the a white gel pen. This is just something I got at the art supply store and this is Jelly Roll brand. You know it doesn't have to be anything real fancy but it gives you these fun white dots and you can add them into just about anywhere that you want to have some accent and it gives you that fine tuned line or dots uh, or circles that kind of thing. Okay I hope you enjoy and <laughs> We'll see you when you're done watching.
I hope you enjoyed watching that and you got some nice tips, but it really just inspired you to spend some time painting in your own sketchbook. And I didn't mention this at the beginning, but I did use some watercolor pencils. This is the Faber Castle version. There's a lot of different brands that make some nice watercolor pencils if you're interested. You can order them, of course, so you can uh, buy them individually, which can be really nice. This one was like at the time a buck fifty. Then you can add like 10 to your repertoire without maybe buying 36 if you just want to give them a try. And again, they're really fun to add some texture, define some areas. Uh, some of this I brought back some of the, the pop to those areas that I had covered with the brown paint. And, uh, you know, I hope you'll explore some of those in your paintings. And if there's anything else, please leave a question in the, in the bottom or a nice comment. And I hope you've been, you know, inspired to do your own watercolor painting. I know it's fun to just watch, but I hope these only take about 30 minutes. And again, I'm doing it in my sketchbook so I can have a nice set with me. You can even journal on the back or leave like notations of what you liked about each painting and maybe you want what you'd like to change the next time you do a painting. It gives you a nice reference, but it's also a nice keepsake for as, as you uh, mature and grow with your, your paintings and looking back on your life. It's something you can include when you go on vacations or special occasions, that kind of thing. So I hope you've enjoyed it. You can also see me on Instagram and Facebook. It's still over there. And I think that's it. I hope you have fun painting. See you next time.